study in the International School of Agricultural Sciences has really been an incredible opportunity for me and one of the best things that I could do for my future. I'm really happy that I took this decision to come uh, here to learn agriculture because here we learned from feeling the soil till the most advanced agricultural techniques present till now. One thing I love most about my own research is that I work directly with the farmers. So I go to their field, I discover the problem, I bring it back to the lab, I study it, I find a way to solve it, I present it to the farmer, they like it, they adopt it. So we go to the field, we try it, we see the outcome, and then we report it in science. The research is going to help farmers uh, increase the, the productivity, that is the, the, the yield production, because of uh, developing new varieties which are maybe have a lot of roots and they can withstand ash uh, climate conditions like in drought-based uh, areas. Uh, that is talking about where I come from in Kenya. One of the tools that I've gotten here is really the hands-on experience in the farm, growing my own food under experts who know exactly what, what they're doing. And that experience has really given me uh, the knowledge on how to produce my own food, farm to table, and sustainable agriculture. What surprised me really is that they, yeah, you don't have water enough and how you develop agriculture, it's, it is amazing. We have managed to interact with people from Jamaica. We are exchanging ideas. People from Jamaica, the USA, I get to know about their culture and they get to learn how we do things and it's really exchanging a lot of ideas and it's a wonderful experience. There is the, the open door. You can always walk into the professor if you if you feel like there is something uh, maybe you're not comfortable with, they're always there ready to listen, ready to encourage you. They solved the smallest problem we had to the biggest problem we had, so it was really helpful and they were always so welcoming. The multicultural uh, experience in the school is amazing. You know, you have people from, from Ecuador, from from Germany, from Kenya, from Ethiopia, in the same country. Coming from California, where nutrition really is on the forefront of most people's minds and daily lives, this one-year opportunity was, was amazing to develop these tools and knowledge. When I found this program at the Hebrew University of All Places, which is a world-ranked university, and in Israel, this nutrition program is the best of the best and, and really chases after the newest information. It was just an amazing opportunity for me. It really ignited uh, a fire and excitement within me and a passion and you know I felt this passion throughout the entire year and I absolutely loved it. When you're part of the international school many many doors are open to you like you can do a PhD but you can also work in a company, you can also apply what you learn here. This is an amazing opportunity. My experience with the international students has been amazing, really above and beyond what I what I expected. And I'm really looking forward to having more of these students in the lab. The international program is a meeting place for students from all over the world, some with more experience in agriculture and some with more academic experience. Together with the facilities given in the faculty by our professors in our labs, we work together, uh, each one giving their own uh, spices and, and, uh, and ideas to make something together, which is uh, basically to help feed the world. Welcome everybody uh, to our open day. It's the open day of the Faculty of Agriculture, Food and Environment of the Hebrew University. My name is Aliza Fleischer. I'm the Vice Dean for International Affairs. Together with us is Professor Benny Hefetz. Benny, say hi. Hi everybody. Yeah, he's the Dean of our faculty. And we have also Professor Saul Boardman. He is the Vice Dean for Academic Affairs. Oh. I'll be presenting together with us are also Nurit and Anat. You can write to them in chat as we talk. Basically, most of the time, uh, me and, uh, uh, and Saul and Professor Saul Woodman will be talking. But then, if you have questions as we talk, you can always write 
and, and Ruit and Anat will answer you in chat. Uh, they will also write their email in case if you have any further questions, uh, you can write to them. So I will start with the, our presentation <coughs> and uh, let's go. Okay, so this is a picture of our campus. We are part of the Hebrew University. We are a faculty part, one campus of the Hebrew University. I'll give a very, very short details, just flavor for about the Hebrew University. It was founded uh, in 1918. One of the founders is Albert Einstein, which you all uh, probably heard of. We are considered top world 100 most innovative universities. Uh, we are related to eight Nobel prizes. Uh, we have six campuses. Most of the campuses are in Jerusalem. Our campus is about 45 minutes from Jerusalem, the Faculty of Agricultural Campus. Uh, we have about 1,000 faculty members in the university, about 25 students, and 10% of our students at the all university as our international students from 90 countries, okay? Nine all countries. Our faculty was established in 1942. It, was, it started as an experimental station. We started with 21 students. Today, we have about uh, over 2,000 students, about 2,500 students. And we, I think we are large enough to make an impact, uh, but we still maintain the, the small and uh, the, the nice, the, the nice uh, attribute of being small. So we have all the time interpersonal relationship between the scientists, the researchers, and the students. We work together, as you heard, some of you heard in the short clip that we had before. Um, so that's us. We have about four institutes, uh, Plant Science uh, Institute, Institute of Biochemistry and Food Science, Animal Science and, and the Vet School, and Institute for Environmental Science. Within each institute, we have different programs, which Professor Saul Boardman will tell you later what are the programs within this institute. The reason we have those institutes, as you can see, these are the world challenges, but they are also our challenges. It's alleviate world hunger and thirst, increase agricultural productivity. And this is hard enough, and those are very difficult challenges, but doing all of this without harming the environment is, it makes it even more difficult. And what we have, as you can see, uh, marked and uh, written all over, and the type of research and teaching that we do is uh, sustainability is very important for us. So it's uh, increased food production and making nutritionist food and doing all of this without harming the environment. That's what we do. And that's the answers we hope to give the world. <clears throat> I'll give you some flavor, just a few, few um, cherries that I found to give you a flavor of what our achievements are, uh, which what, what kind of achievements were based on the research that was conducted in our campus. Cherry tomatoes that you eat, it's based on our research. Drip irrigation, which is so important. The water is so precious. This is a really saving water. This was uh, uh, invented based on the research done in our campus. And um, now we are talking about vegan food, moving from eating meat to eating vegetables. And what we have now recently, we have, it's a spin-off from research that we established a company, Savory, that we actually uh, have 3D food printing. And what we print, the hamburgers that you see here um, are vegan hamburgers. This is not meat, and, but they taste wonderful. Uh, we have here some research done on a, a, a genetic treatment for day blindness. We started with sheep, but now uh, we are shifting to human. We can apply it also to people. And of course, the environment, I'm giving you just one thing. We have so much plastic in the world. We don't know what to do with this. So one of our labs here is trying to invent a biodegradable gas containing capsules. So when you see all those bubble wrap from plastic, what we will have is something that will be biodegradable and uh, won't contaminate the world. So what I will give you here is a short description of our, mainly our master's program, but those of you who want to go on to a PhD, you're welcome also. 
We have two types of track. We have one year non-thesis track and two year thesis track. So I will uh, transfer now and let uh, Saul Boardman to continue. He will describe the two year thesis track and then I'll get back to you and I'll tell you all about our one year non-thesis track. Uh, Saul, Professor Saul Boardman, I will uh, change the uh, slides, okay? So we want have to transfer, uh, or you want, if we want have to transfer. Okay, Saul. Okay, thank you, Aliza. And, uh, and, and yes, my name is uh, Saul Burman. Uh, as Aliza said, I'm a vice dean for academic affairs of our faculty. Um, and uh, Aliza, when I'm ready, I, I will I will tell you when to move to the next slide. No, put one one back. So, um, so uh, before being vice dean for academic affairs. Uh, I am a scientist and a teacher at our faculty. I am a member of the Institute of Environmental Sciences. And, uh, and, and yes, this, is a, this faculty as being part of the Hebrew University if, uh, is a research and teaching institute and, and both activities are linked uh, together. And, and, and the common thing between these activities is our vision, which is feeding the world while keeping the, the planet uh, uh, green. And, and this is completely reflected in the name of our faculty, which uh, contains the names uh, agriculture, food, okay? So feeding the world, but environment to keep the, the planet uh, green. So Alisa, can you, next one. Next slide, please. So, we have a, a big variety of uh, master programs. And uh, as Alisa said, I will, I will be referring to uh, two years thesis track programs, which, which are, uh, uh, it's, these are study programs that involve both, both teaching, okay, participating in courses, but also uh, carrying a, a research uh, in a, a laboratory of our faculty. We have 11, such programs, which uh, you can see them, the names here. I prefer to, uh, in the next slide, to, to name these programs, to refer to these programs in the next slide, uh, please, Elisa, which, because here, uh, and you can, yeah, because here you can see, see the link between the, uh, the, pro the programs and the different uh, uh, institutes of our faculty. As for example, you can see, uh, we have four, master programs that are associated with the Institute of Plant Science. So we have a program in horticulture. We have a program in field and vegetable crops. We have a general program in plant science and agriculture, and also in genetics and breeding. These are four different uh, programs of the Institute of Plant Science. If you go here to the right, we have the Institute of Biochemistry F, uh, and food, food science and nutrition. And we have a master program in biochemistry from food science and uh, nutrition. Uh, then we have a program which is associated to the Institute of, uh, to the Department of Animal Science and the School uh, uh, of Veterinary, which is a program in animal and veterinary sciences. And then we can move here to the left, which we, we have the Institute of Environmental, of Environmental Sciences that have four different uh, departments and each department provide a different uh, program. You can see a program in soil and water sciences, a program in agroecology and plant health, a program in environmental quality and natural resources in agriculture, and also a program in environmental economy and management. And in addition to these programs, we have an, another program, which is a program of, of biotechnology, which is an interfaculty program, which uh, uh, it's attended by different students from the university, also from the, the, the faculty of uh, medicine and the faculty of, uh, na of natural science, which are in, in Jerusalem. Okay, next, next slide. Uh, and of course, if you have questions, you can ask in the chat and uh, or in the, in the last session that we will have after this presentation. But here I address you to our uh, webpage. Uh, that uh, you can see, I see that Anat put uh, the link uh, to this page uh, in the chat, so you can copy and then you can have access to it easily. If not, you can just Google uh, Faculty of Agriculture and go to study and master. And then you can see here the different programs that we have. Uh, next, uh, enter, Lisa. 
these are the programs that I've mentioned before, and you can go to one program, for example, agroecology and plant health, and this will uh, uh, direct you to the uh, web page of this program when you can have all the information, you pro information about the program, uh, contact details, who are the head of the program and who are the secretary of this uh, program, admission requirements, and also information about tuition and scholarships. And from here, also you can access to the uh, departments that are, uh, and the institutes that are associated with this uh, program, and also to the web page of the different scientists, the different researchers, which are the potential supervisor. And this is very important, and I will emphasize this in the next uh, slides. So here is uh, some, you, you can, again, you, in these pages, you can find more detailed information about uh, admission requirements, but to make it simple here in this presentation, so the admission requirements are, of course, you need to have a, a undergraduate degree in a, a relevant field that depending on the program that you are applying to, but in general can be from agricultural science, nutrition, biology, economy also for the program in a, a environmental economy. And for some cases also, even from the fields of physics and mathematics and computer science, because we have uh, a, a very important programs in agroinformatics uh, here. You will need a minimal final grade of 80 or equivalent according to your institutes and a certificate of English uh, proficiency proficiency. But uh, uh, not less important, uh, you need to have for to enroll in the two uh, year thesis uh, track program, you need to have a secured uh, thesis uh, supervisor, meaning a scientist from our faculty that is, will be willing to supervise. This is really important because uh, for most programs, except for, for a, a environmental economy, a, a supervisor is uh, required. Uh, next uh, slide. So we have available uh, scholarships for our students. Uh, in general, students that are enrolled in the two-year thesis track and are devoted full-time to their research. They are generally exempted from a, a, a tuition uh, for two years. And they also receive a minimum uh, scholarship of about $1,000 per month for the duration for the two years of the studies. Uh, this is the minimal uh, scholarships. In some, ca some cases, it can, it can be higher than, than this. Next slide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK, so here I would like you, we have one of our international students here, and uh, uh, Alex uh, Geller, that joined us in uh, 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 2018. Uh, a uh, little bit more than two years ago uh, as a master's student. And in fact, he is now uh, in the PhD track. We have the possibility um, um, for excellent uh, master's students to go through the, I mean, they can finish their master and even continue to the PhD, a PhD degree, but we have also a, a direct track to PhD research after one year and a half or two years in the master. So uh, uh, students that are eligible to this program, they can, uh, without submitting the master thesis, they can go directly to the direct track. And, and uh, Alex uh, is a student that I know very well because he's from our Institute, Institute of Environmental Sciences. Uh, he came from New Jersey, New Jersey, the, the USA. Uh, and I had the opportunity to, to see a presentation of Alex in an international meeting in Glasgow. It was excellent. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Alex. Uh, so as uh, Professor Birdman said, I'm coming from the United States, from New Jersey. And uh, um, it's also, by the way, very cool to see how many different uh, countries are represented here just in this meeting. Uh, I see in the comments people are, are writing from uh, India, from Nepal, from Ethiopia. Uh, from Uganda, I see a bunch of Spanish speakers, uh, and that's really cool because I think that sort of uh, represents also the variety of people that we have uh, in the faculty. Like in our lab itself, we had uh, people from from Panama and from Jersey, and like I said, I from the United States, along with other people from the United States. Uh, so it's a nice melting pot here. 
Um, I, I, the one thing I really want to highlight is that uh, it's a very fun and relaxed environment uh, for, for studies. Um, you wouldn't believe how beautiful the campus really is. And a lot of the time we like to have lunch outside. Um, and uh, there's a lot of, uh, it's a very much so a farm environment. So people who are coming from agriculture will feel right at home uh, in the sense that there's a lot of green, a lot of trees. Um, and uh, we have a lot of uh, also products that are created uh, on campus. Like so there are, is a faculty for people who are studying uh, bees. Mm -hmm. And so they produce honey and then they sell the honey every once in a while. So it's actually really nice to really feel like you're having some of the products that are, you know, the literal fruits of the labor of the people who are studying. Um, the people are extremely nice. Uh, my lab members and, and the folks in my department, uh, it's uh, really, we, we laugh a lot. We have a lot of fun while we're getting our work done. And uh, it's a super collaborative environment. Like a lot of people, it's not competitive. It's not people trying to stab each other in the back. It's really people who are trying to achieve something together and everyone sort of helps each other. So if we have any problem, we go to another lab to get help with a method or materials or something like that. Uh, and it's really, really nice. The professors and administrators are also quite supportive and helpful, like in terms of, um, you know, I, when I first got to Israel, uh, I, my Hebrew wasn't very good. And I imagine that a lot of people's Hebrew also for the international program wouldn't be uh, up to par necessarily. And the professors and administrators really helped with any of the bureaucratic problems that involved Hebrew. They really helped with it, even little things uh, that weren't connected to school. So everyone is just very willing to help. Um, I, I personally live in uh, Tel Aviv, which is sort of a world-class city, uh, 30 minutes away from the campus by train. And the train station is right next to campus if you're interested in that. But I know a lot of people who live on campus and it's, uh, again, like I said, a very nice uh, sort of rural rustic environment. And uh, on a sort of personal note, the food is absolutely fantastic uh, in Rehovo. There's, uh, I think it's worth to try to come uh, to be at the university to have the, the hummus alone. If you haven't had it, uh, it's delicious uh, from Badra, this restaurant. There's also Neapolitan pizza, which is really fantastic uh, right by the campus. And so uh, this for me was enough. I'm a big food person. So for the, this for me is enough of a motivation also to continue. So um, Basically, I hope that uh, to see you, uh, you know, apply and get in and, and sort of join me and we can uh, have a slice of pizza together or whatever uh, in Rehovo. And uh, yeah, I, if you have any questions, I'm uh, also happy to answer them uh, at some point, maybe later at the end of the uh, presentation. And uh, I, I highly recommend uh, applying and coming to study here. It's a very interesting and fun place. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Alex. Uh, um, well, um, one, one thing that I didn't mention that otherwise maybe we will not be, I will not be in this session is that all courses of the two years uh, a, a master track are in English, okay? So you don't need to, to, to study Hebrew before you come, we, we enroll to our uh, university. So yeah, so, so you, you knew Alex, so we have a many uh, uh, students, international students that finished uh, the studies here in our faculty, and our students, uh, our alumni are, are also uh, they successfully uh, integrate into uh, very good jobs in the academia and the industry. And you can see here one example of uh, Danny Ginsburg, also from the USA, that that he he finished completed his master in plant science in 2017, and for example. We know he's now in, in uh, as a scientist in uh, Stanford University, and here uh, he could not uh, join this meeting, but here is his uh, he share his uh, advice with us. So with that, uh, I will again uh, very very nice to meet you all here. As, as Alex said, uh, very nice to see people from uh, many many uh, places, and uh, I well I return to Aliza that she will talk now about the one-year non-thesis tracker program. Aliza. Okay, yeah, thank you, Saul. Okay, so uh, that was uh, what Saul gave you is the description of the two-year uh, uh, thesis track. What I'll give you, it's a short description of the option that you have for one-year non-thesis track. Uh, we have, and that's a uh, one-year non-thesis track is giving within the faculty where we have what we call international school, but it's a part of the faculty, just those specific programs. 
they belong to the international school, but it's, it's a completely part of our program of the faculty. We have four such programs. Uh, they alternate the two every other year. Next year, the October of 2021, we will be giving animal science, masters in animal science and master in nutrition. It's one year non-thesis track. And the year after, we'll open the environmental science and the plant science program. Right now in our campus, we have uh, the plant science program. So why, why, uh, uh, and, and those are the programs, I'll, I'm, I'm just going very, I, I won't give you all the details. If you need any more details, you can write to Nurit, you can go into our uh, website, you can read about everything we teach in those programs. But what's important is the last two lines that you see here, Tuition is $10,500 for the all program and a scholarship available. So this is for the nutrition and the same for the animal science program. Uh, and this is uh, the tuition and we have scholarships available. So that's are the two programs that will open in 2021. Um, and then you ask yourself why to study in the national school and why to study this uh, one year master's a non-thesis track a program. So you get in one year, some people don't want to study for two years. They want to finish just, uh, they get the master's degree and they don't care to continue for research. And then after one, within one year, they finish the graduate and they get a master's degree. Uh, you also get to meet and know all the people on our campus. You uh, visit the labs, you meet, you get, you get knowledge from all our experts that are on our campus. But <clears throat> the most important thing, as you noticed when uh, Saul, Professor Saul Boardman was talking, he said that in order to start the thesis track, you have to secure a supervisor. I mean, you have to make sure you have a scientist that accepts you to the lab, and then you get a full scholarship and, 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 and you come and you're covered and you worked in the lab of that scientist. In case you couldn't find a scientist, you couldn't find a lab, you couldn't secure a separate advisor, you can start with this uh, non-thesis track study for the first year in the non-thesis track. And while you are studying, you get to meet the scientists. You go into the lab because part of the exercise you do, you do in the lab. The scientists are the one, are the lecturers. They are the one who teach you. And most of the students in this uh, non-thesis track continue on for the second year for thesis track. The first year gave them the opportunity to meet our scientists, work in the lab, and can secure an advisor so they can continue for the second year. So it's about 80% of the students that started non-thesis track, continue to thesis track, and the good ones continue even to, to the doctor. And of course you benefit from the supportive academic environment where we have all around us in the campus. I would like to ask for Adriana Vanegas from Nicaragua, Adriana. Adriana started on the non-thesis track last year. She graduated and she stayed on and now she is going for a thesis track. Adriana, tell us about your experience. Hi everyone. I'm, I'm glad to see a lot of people from Latin America here. Uh, I'm Adriana Vanegas. I'm from Nicaragua in Central America. And now I'm in my second year doing my thesis project at Volcani Institute. Uh, and I'm glad to talk about a little bit my experience here. Uh, personally, this international program helped me in a different ways, not just academically, but it also helped me to grow enormously in my personal life. Uh, last year, the first year was a very challenging year, and uh, not, not only because the academic load, but also with COVID situation that hit us. And we felt like so much pressure, but all that helped, helped me to be stronger mentally and spiritually. So that was good too. And as Alex said before, also we have here a nice atmosphere, a nice environment, agricultural environment. 
we are willing to know new cultures personally. I love to be around new people because you learn a lot from them, from others too. And here, everyone is willing to help you. Uh, regarding the academic part, you will find a high level program. Uh, each professor is committed, committed to help you and to be and to allow you to be a good professional in your field. Most professors look forward to work with international students and they are welcoming and show interest in what you have as ideas to bring to the table. They, they don't expect you to know everything, but they are willing to teach you and explain you as much as you need. They are accessible to you. And I really, I can say that a special knowledge I'm acquired here is to go deep into the information, to be more critical with the information you see everywhere. Also, we have a very good, a really good experience in laboratory, in new methods and techniques uh, with, that are highly qualified. So, Actually, it has been a very unique experience to study here. I have the opportunity to learn with amazing professors that compile for us the newest material in, the, in researches, also make new friends and interchange, our, uh, with, interchange with them our culture. And of course, having the opportunity to, to be immersed in the Middle East world so I encourage you to challenge yourself and take into account Hebrew University as your way to grow in many areas of your life. So thank you for listening and I wish the best for your future. Thank you, Adriana. And uh, you You're stay welcome. class uh, with Alex in case people have some questions. We as soon have the session of question and answer. And also to give you again a flavor of our alumni, we have here Adela Shabot from Mexico. We saw we had lots of people from Mexico here. She graduated our uh, program and she received, uh, was recruited for a very prestigious internship position at the nutrition division of the UN World Food Program in Rome, Italy. And she's a, a head of knowledge management in a Mexican society for porphyria. So this is example of uh, where our alumni can get to. But we have much more in our website, which you can look. Uh, what do you gain besides the knowledge, besides the expertise, besides being exposed to uh, the top uh, world uh, science? You get to here, you receive international atmosphere, social and cultural activities. We have weekend programs, field trips. We have student support, on-campus housing. All this is what we give here. And you get some idea what's going on. We celebrated here. Uh, this is Christmas. We have here like, uh, like the local Halloween where, and that's our campus. You see, that's the grass. That's, we have a, deer, um, a goat farm here. So you see, that's the goat farm. That's our students. So it seems like they're having a good time. And because we know you have lots of questions about the pandemic, that's our last slide. So you will know, we are answering you before you ask questions. We are thinking about bimodal delivery in fall semester, that means Zoom and on actually in campus, on the campus, we give continuous support for mobility, travel, visa. We have self-quarantine quarantine support. We have campus health safety regulation. COVID-19 testing station on each campus, social programming, we have 24 seven emergency support. And just to let you know that all our students got vaccinated. Yeah. So uh, uh, this is uh, our, uh, uh, we know that th those are the questions that we should, that you were thinking about. So these are the answers. And now we are to the question and answer session. So if you have any further questions, you can contact us, that's the email. Hi, hi everybody. My name is Benny. I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Agriculture, Food and Environment. It's really great pleasure to see all of you here and it's really exciting session. Uh, I just want to say a couple of sentences to highlight why I think that you should choose the Hebrew University of Jerusalem 
as the platform for advanced studies. And I would say only three words about that. Entrepreneurship, innovation, thinking out of the box. If you are planning to conduct innovative studies, to think about new ideas, that's the place. Come here and advance your knowledge and help us to help everybody else that the planet will be in a good shape in the future. We will help you to achieve that task. It's not an easy one, but it's achievable and we can do that together. Come to Rehobo. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Benny. Uh, Alisa, I want to mention something uh, because there, there is a question that was uh, made by several uh, uh, participants. First, uh, I see one question now. We are the only uh, faculty of agriculture in Israel, okay? Uh, it's the only uh, faculty of agriculture. Uh, we have in Israel uh, about seven universities, but we are the only one that uh, provide programs in, uh, in agriculture. Now, regarding the uh, thesis track uh, master program, because there were several questions about the uh, scholarships. Uh, and yes, it's very important before uh, you start contacting uh, people about the uh, uh, admission requirements and so on. First, if you finish your undergraduate uh, degree, if you completed your undergraduate degree and have a good, good grades, I mean, uh, an average of 80 or or something similar in, in your, according to the, the scale of, of rates in your country. And, and, and then I, I would say that the, the, the best thing is to start, I mean, I, I, um, I, we provided the website of our different programs uh, from where you can access also the different uh, department and institute researchers. Because a very important thing is that for the, uh, for the thesis track program, you have to, have a secured uh, supervisor. So, so it's very, I really advise you to go and, and check the different web page of, this, of the scientists. And then you can see uh, which topics they are investigating uh, in the different fields and to see what is more interesting for you. And they start by applying to them, by contacting them, but show them that you really did your lessons, that you, I mean, don't just, I mean, a very typical thing is to write like 100 emails to, to, to 100 researchers and all look the same. It's not good. I mean, try to show to these uh, scientists that you really uh, uh, learn about what they read in, in their web page and you are really interested in this topic. And, and this, this will be a very important step in order to gain uh, the, the scientist interest because once and then, of course, you establish this contact and, 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 and the supervisor is interested to uh, supervise you. Uh, and then the process can continue. Of course, uh, there is a registration process, but as I mentioned in my, in the, my part of the presentation, once you are uh, accepted, uh, if, you, if you have, uh, I mean, if you, you have a, a, a stand on the admission requirements, uh, in most cases we have uh, a, a tuition, the tuition is free, and also uh, there are these uh, scholarships that I mentioned before. Sometimes the scholarship is paid by the budget of the researcher that will be supervising you, sometimes also by some other fellowships uh, available, but, uh, but again, this is the first step, the first step for the, for the uh, 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 tra uh, 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 track, uh, thesis track uh, uh, program is to uh, try to find a, a supervisor. Okay. Thank you. And I hope to see you all here in the Middle East in next year. <laughs>